The following questions of that in 2016 was another algebra question linked to functions. Now the first bit, very straightforward. All you're asked to do is complete the table. So uh, these are our values of x. So anywhere we see x, we're going to log in and the value that's given to us. So this first one will be 2 over e times 0. This will be 2 over e to the power of 0 0.5, 2 over e to the power of 1, 2 over e to the power of ln of 4. And down here, we're just going e to the power of 0 minus 1. And you wouldn't be expected to show your work in this box. It's only for the uh, the purpose of this video. e to the power of 0 0.5 minus 1, to the power of 1 minus 1, and e to the power of ln to the 4 minus 1. Um, I wouldn't bother doing my mode 3 uh, table like we normally do for the functions simply because you know there's only four terms and this here term isn't equally spaced so should give us 2 anything to the power of 0 is 1 so e to the power of 0 is 2 and now once it's typed in right once you just go back and you change it now it's two decimal places so 1.21 0.74 and ln of 4, not a bother, ln of 4 is a half or 0 0.5. Next one, uh, alpha, there's our e to the power of 0 minus 1, which is 0. And go back and change it to uh, 0.65. One point seven two and again LN of four is three. In the graph below use the table to draw the graphs of f of x and gx in this domain all the way to ln of four. Now, if you're unsure of ln of four, I wouldn't have a notion what it is, put it in your calculator, we see ln of four is one point three nine. So it'll give us an approximation where we draw it here in the graph. So here it goes between 0 and 1. Now how many boxes are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So each of those is like 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.2, 1 1.4, which is basically your log to the C, your ln of 4. And up here it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It's the same thing, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and so on. Draw the graphs of f of x and g of x. So I'll do this f of x in, say, blue pen. So our first value is 0, and our y value corresponds to that is 2. Next one's 0.5, so halfway between 0.4 and 0.6, and we're going to 1.21. Next value of 1, we're going to 0 0.74. And then um, your ln of 4, which is 1.39, we're going to a value of a half. And join that up. A smooth curve here, it's an exponential function. So that's our f of x. And it says label each graph clearly, so you would have to label them. The next one, our g of x, I put it in black, and I put in 0, 0. Here we put in 0 0.5, and you get 0 0.65. 1 and 1.72. And then in a four is three. Again, nice smooth curve. So G of X. And we've labeled them. So as you can see here, use your graph to estimate the value for which f of x, f of x is equal to g of x. That's asking you where is that blue graph equal to the black graph? You know. So where do they intersect? As you can see. The intersect there and as I estimate the value of x, I haven't asked you for the point, so I estimate that value of x say halfway between 0 0.6 and 0 0.8, x is equal to 0 0.7, or x if you like, approximately equal to 0 0.7. Now, this is the bit where we're going to get the actual answer by solving it using algebra. So, solve f of x equal to g of x using algebra, our f of x is 2 over e to the x. 
is equal to g of x, e to the power of x minus 1. Now, I've seen a student once doing it which is very clever. They made this uh, equation easier by making a substitution, which you would have learned about in your algebra chapter. So if you let u is equal to e to the power of x, this equation then is written as 2 over u to u minus 1. As we've seen in the previous question, when we've got fractions and when we have an equals, the fraction can disappear. Multiply each bit by what it doesn't have, your common denominator, which is u. So that and that cross off, you're left with 2 equals u squared minus u. And your quadratic here is as follows. Open up your brackets. That's 2 plus 1. u is equal to oh. U plus 1 is equal to 0, u is equal to minus 1, and u minus 2 is equal to 0, u is equal to 2. Now they haven't asked us for what u is, but we go back to what our substitution here suggests. So u is equal to e to the x. So we're using our positive value here, we're only going to get one answer anyway, as you can see from up there. So e to the x is equal to 2. Now in order for us to solve this equation for x, we must apply logs. So this is our power when you want to solve an equation in which you're trying to solve the letter or the variable, what is the power? You apply your logs. Now you get that down, you must go log to the base e. Log to the base e of x. And whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other side. And that's the same as the ln of 2. Log to the base e, so if you use the ln, perfect as well. And what the reason you can apply your logs here, your power can come down in front. And log to the base e of e becomes 1. Put into your calculator log 5, 5, you get 1, log 10, 10 is 1, log 20, 20 is 1 as well, is equal to the log base e of 2. Sorry, log to the base e of 2. Or ln of 2, if you like. And if you didn't want to check how accurate you are, just put an ln of 2 into your calculator and get 0 0.69. So pretty good. We know we're right. That answer there is perfectly acceptable. So as we say, don't practice till you get it right. Practice until you cannot get it wrong.